Hello guys and welcome back uh, with the third part in uh, our project. So our project here to uh, make sure uh, we are in the same page uh, in uh, our uh, video series for ladder logic programming is the, to manage the batch process. And we have completed the, the last two times for part one. We have uh, managed the running the, the uh, B1, Bump B1 to fill the tank and the, when the tank reaching to 90% of uh, its uh, storage. So we uh, light this uh, full indicator and the run indicator will run at any time. Uh, and the, and also stopping this uh, bump at that time, okay? And and we we have used this uh, indicator or this uh, uh, pulse switch uh, to count these pulses. We have used this one to count the uh, storage uh, uh, to reach to a specific value to count if it is full or still uh, in filling state. Uh, next thing, we have uh, continue the cycle by uh, after reaching to the fall of the tank. Uh, we have been requested to uh, activate to activate this uh, mixer uh, for eight seconds, and uh, after this eight seconds, uh, we have also uh, been requested to run the pump to make the draining uh, of. Uh, the uh, liquid inside the tank until reaching to the bottom, which is zero, and then repeating the cycle by hit start again. So let's run one more time, uh, one last time uh, for uh, the project to see, to show you how it is uh, working. Uh, so uh, we need to just, uh, so we need to uh, so start the uh, process by uh, resetting the simulation. Setting the timers and the counters and try to run the process like this to see uh, the last status of the uh, first and second uh, part of this project and getting uh, started the uh, last part or the third part in the project. So now it is failing to fall and fall indicator and then the mixer for eight seconds. You can watch guys here uh, all the component for the timers and then after eight seconds of the mixer uh, coming down uh, uh, the uh, drainage cycle by this pump okay and by reaching to the bottom which is level zero then uh, by reaching to level zero what happens is we uh, we can restart the cycle by clicking or hitting the uh, start button again and so on and notice here uh, this is uh, two level we have the low level and the high level to showing where am I so reaching to the high level this one is on reaching to uh, uh, low level this one is uh, on and so on so uh, this one will uh, will be off when reaching to the uh, the level which is lower than the uh, low level uh, for this switch the switch is here so once you reach to zero as you can see okay so that part uh, let's move uh, to the uh, third part uh, in this project uh, to go into the uh, requirements. So here it is uh, for the part three, modify your program so that uh, the filling and emptying uh, sequence will repeat continuously once it has been started by the initial processing of the start switch. Now, as you can see, we're starting and stopping by repeating the cycle by just uh, hitting the start button we need instead of starting and uh, starting the process by hitting the start button we need to start the process automatically okay this is one requirement the second requirement is uh, the second requirement here is like uh, ensure the run I'm sorry to so requirements here is uh, like ensuring the run light is energized when the mixer or either bomb is running and that's uh, what already happened like uh, like uh, we have the the run but actually we have the run yes uh, we'll check this and also uh, the standby light uh, should la should light and the process should uh, that when the stop button is pressed okay uh, also the uh, also the uh, the process should uh, restart uh, whether it uh, lift off if the start button is pressed uh, following to stop. Yes, yes, that's uh, so. Let's make this requirement here. 
So that is uh, first thing we move into the uh, the panel of programming and the program mode, and we need first to make sure this run. So this run will be uh, whatever uh, there is no stop. But when we have a stop and not run, okay. So we need to adding here the standby. Where is the standby? With this is the idle. So here we go into adding one rung here, and in this rung we'll add. Uh, where's that one? Is added. Sorry. Where it is. I added in somewhere, so I want to make sure it is. Oh yeah, this one. So it is this one. Cut. I'm just go for forward here. I'm adding this one and not this one and this one. So this one will be the ideal switch, the ideal lamp here. And also this uh, this will be by hitting the stop. And also by hitting the stop, I need here like this one to latch in this stop here. So I need to add also this contact here from the idle so I will say I would say this this one is the uh, this one will be like not run also so if it is not run and I hit the stop so this one will be the stop button will be the stop button so already we have the stop button and this guy will be the idle idle I'm sorry so this is the idle yeah so now the idle is, uh, is okay, as it is not run, so it is idle. <coughs> and also for run, uh, I need to get the contact for the trophy. For this one, it will, it will be like any of those trophy also here. So this will be like I need uh, one of those at least. So I need here to have in this one. So the only activator here will be with me. So I will put this one. Also, I will add this one. Also, I need another. I have this uh, mixer. And what else you want to like? Yeah, so I will. So this when, when uh, is a pump is running or mixer. OK, so, so I would need here also to add in yeah, another branch like this. So this one will be here. And this one will be here also. Yeah. And I'm adding Yeah, this one will be outside. Yeah. So this one will be here. And this one will be here. So I don't know how to add in here another branch of that guy. Yes, so that guy will be here. And forget about that guy. Like this, yes. So I need uh, another branch like this one. It will be here. So this guy will be the mixer. So either the mixer, either the bomb, either the uh, other bomb, one of the two bomb. It's running so in this case or the mixer so the, in this case run will, will be okay and uh, and the, for sure if uh, if it is not run and the hit stop so the idle will uh, will be there okay so also So if I, if I hit a stop here, the run will stop like this is start and stop here. So no need for this stop, I think. And that guy will be here. If not run, it, it is like idle, okay? But no, yeah, like I, I want it like idle, meaning, uh, okay, so not run. And, the, and this is the, the case for this uh, part. So we need to uh, go into the... Uh, yeah. So guys, what I have done here, like uh, go into the requirement here. 
uh, I showed the requirement uh, again to, to repeat the cycle. So I use this flag to repeat the cycle. This flag is coming from the end of the previous cycle. At the end of the previous cycle, when that guy is, uh, is working, so what happened is the counter will be reduced until B less than zero. So this flag will be on. And once this flag is on, I uh, and that guy, uh, that flag will be used to uh, make another way to run the cycle again automatically as the requirement for the part three. One other thing is the idle. So I added that rank for uh, the idle as it is uh, no running and the stop its head. So the idle is there. Uh, and also for the run, it was uh, indicating the process uh, to be run at any time. But now as a requirement comes, uh, we need to have uh, the run indicator only when we have one actuator at least working, either mixer or pump one or pump three. So that's all the requirements. So let's see run and see the program uh, again. One, uh, one bit modification here I need to add like uh, one rung here. Okay, so in this rung, or put this rung actually here. Uh, the title here. So in that guy, you can say this uh, value will be like one, like this. Okay, no need for that guy. So I just need to get that guy here or that guy here or adding uh, another guy not here actually i need it here by having the guy here and getting this also here okay so you, you need for this one so like this guys like uh, this is the run so if one of those uh, guys are running so i will uh, showing the one indicator here like that guy is running now okay so this is uh, for example it will be b3 uh, 0 3 and i'm sorry b3 0 3 okay and i can take that guy okay so this this run should be connected with like if that guy and that guy and that guy uh, one of them at least is running so that means I have one actuator is running okay okay so so this thing should be uh, like uh, uh, enable the uh, indicator but I will leave this one to be uh, I don't know what happened let's see so now guys let's run the program again so now you can see the uh, running indicator and the cycle start until fall and then mixer and then going down and going up again cycle repeated automatically as a requirement and then a mixer and then going down until reaching it to the end and so on at any time we can stop the cycle so the idle would be go gone like uh, there is a power to the system but no actuator is running we can continue the cycle okay and repeat automatically so guys now we have completed our project oh oh <laughs> that's good to have in here so let's see what's uh, what's up done and solving this problem together <laughs> okay wait wait <laughs> it's not finished yet so again we discovered here like the mixer is not working for uh, too long uh, like the 80 seconds so we need to reset the, the timer so we just need to reset uh, command here so the reset command i believe it is in here yes so this is the reset command uh, i think it should be somewhere here like after this one so i will have this one will be in parallel here Okay, and put this one, this guy here, and this guy here, and just put here the timer itself, like T4, T40, I believe, T40, and C. So now let's see the timer is, uh, yeah, the timer now is working very fine, at the same time, and it goes down again. 
for its time and so on. Thank you for watching and have a good day.